Hello everyone, I am Dr. Archana Daftardar. I am a consultant nephrologist at Renova Hospital Company. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting uh, topic and uh, rather an advice which is commonly given to the patients. So let's see. So uh, the advice which is given is take low salt diet. So what is low salt diet? why it should be taken what are the benefits of low salt diet let us see that why salt because salt has sodium which is the major component of the salt and why uh, sodium is so harmful to the uh, human body actually our human body does not need much sodium intake because whatever the food we eat in a natural form that contains the sodium and that is more than enough for our body but we are habituated and trained over a period of time and over generations to generation to have more salt to make our to satisfy our taste buds actually it has more disadvantage of harmful effect on our different organs so let's see how taking excessive sodium can increase the burden over the kidneys and the kidneys get exhausted and then the kidney disease can happen or if there is already a kidney disease the progress happens very fast the second thing is uh, if the patient is having a heart problem high sodium intake aggravates heart problem too high sodium uh, taken through diet also leads to the water retention in the body which causes swelling of the legs, swelling of the joints, lethargy, obesity. These are all the uh, problems which occur with the high sodium intake. High sodium intake also causes stone formation and it hampers our bone health also. So who should uh, take less salt? So nearly everyone should take less salt. And surprisingly, if you follow it for 14 to 21 days, you will get habituated of taking less salt. Less is how much? So normally, if you want to measure it and give it an exact uh, number, it is 2 to 4 grams of salt per day. So that means 1 teaspoon of salt is equal to 2 grams of sodium. So, by even if we, I understand that we cannot measure the salt every day and take it, but there are certain uh, easy ways to take this less salt. So, avoiding the table salt completely, do not take uh, the extra salt when you start eating. Whatever is there in the cooked food, that should be enough. And second thing is avoiding processed food, canned foods, frozen foods and switching to more fresh foods and healthy fruits, vegetables, salads, cereals will help in this also. In our community, pickles and papad is an integral part of our food. So pickles and papad, they have lot of salt, excessive salt in them. If we stop pickles and papad, automatically you will reduce the salt intake. Too. Because of our habit of taking more salt, it becomes difficult to uh, take the food with less salt. So in that case, what you can do is season the food with lemon juice, certain spices, and even the herbs can be used. So patients who are having diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, brain stroke, as well as kidney disease should take particularly should be sticking to the low salt diet. Thank you.